In this video, I'll show you how to turn on and off the beep sound of your Casio G-Shock GBD200. This function can be highly customizable so that you can hear the beep only for certain things and turn off for certain other things. So let me show you how to do it. First thing, you need to press the stop left button here during two seconds so that a menu appears on the screen. We need to go down in this menu using the lower left side button and you see the cursor is moving until you select beep. To enter this beep menu you need to press the start button on the top right corner once. And here you have two options operation and notification. Let's go in operation first. Press the start button to select it and here you can turn it on and off. Operation means every time you go through the menus or through the different settings of your watch and you're pressing these buttons, you hear a beep. If you do not want to hear it anymore, go ahead and select off. To do so, just press the lower left button here, select off and then press start to confirm. The setting will be saved. Now notification and I guess most people this is what they want. So press the lower left side button once once the triangle is um, on the left side of notification, press the start button once. And here we have three options. All on, just like it says, will allow any sort of notification to beep. You also have user and all off. All off, well, it's self-explanatory. It will turn every beep coming from notification off. User, if you select it using this um, lower left side button here and press start means that you need to use the app, the G-Shock Move app on your smartphone to select which specific notification you want to hear and which not. And I already made a video how to connect both of these, iPhone or Android, to your watch. Uh, I'll try to put the video on the screen or in the description if you do not know how to connect them. Then this is the home page of the app and you need to press on more. Then select watch in this menu over here. Go down and select sound and vibration. Here select sound. Everything will be turned on by default. But if you want to hear the beep only for specific um, options, go ahead and turn off the other ones. If you want to turn off the beep when somebody calls you, just go over here in common calls and turn it off or off during uh, your rounds. Once you're done changing those settings, it's not over, you need to press on send so that the app sends the modifications to your watch. Now what if you want to get notification only from certain apps and not all the apps on your watch, so it beeps. On your iPhone, you need to go into the settings and select notifications. Go down and here you have all the apps. For example, I don't want to get any notification from McDonald's app. I'll tap on it and I will deselect notification screen and banner. By removing this and only keeping the lock screen, it will mean that I'll still receive this notification on the lock screen of my phone, but that, but this won't go further and alert my watch that there is a notification. Therefore, it will not beep, it will not vibrate when I'll get a McDonald's notification. So if lock screen only is selected, the notification will stay on the phone only. You can also select to get that notification on the watch by selecting notification center. If you have this checked on your iPhone, it means that the notification will go through your watch. Therefore, it will vibrate. So this is something to keep in mind. If you have an Android smartphone, I don't have one at this moment, but I will tell you what you need to do. You need to go into the settings of your phone then select move app then select all apps which should be the last option in that menu finally select the apps that you'll want to get a notification from on your watch and those selected once you get a notification will make your watch vibrate 
So I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have something to add, maybe to help somebody else, maybe something that I missed. And I'll see you in the next video.